Hey everybody, welcome to Marcy Creates. This is Marcy, and I am excited to bring to you today the unboxing of the Jesse James Beads Summer Camp 2021. And if you're anything like me, you have very fond memories of summer camp. And if you're anything like me, you love making jewelry or buying beads or hoarding beads or whatever. <laughs> However, when you combine the beads and the camp, I'm just so excited. I just absolutely cannot wait. I've taken a week off from my day job and I'm gonna take classes and learn from people and I'm just very, very excited. So today I have an unboxing for the camp. And how they have it structured is we've got a camp schedule here and it looks like we have classes almost every day, every day actually. Uh, last day looks like we have one class and then some kumbaya closing ceremonies. But the, the projects sound amazing. We've got a double dip wire wrapping class with Gem Hawks. Brittany Shavers is doing an all up in knots cord class. Wyan White is doing the Wyatt Whip and what Twirl Wire Wrap Bracelet. That sounds amazing. I hope I am not pronouncing this wrong. Onye Dika. Triangle Weave Beginner Bangle, which I've never learned triangle weave. So I, one of the reasons why I wanted to do this was to learn some new techniques. Um, Meredith Roddy is doing the Seed Bead, Peyote Seed Bead class, which... I'm excited about, and she's also doing some seed bead uh, earrings and brick stitch, and wire wrap cabochons. I've wanted to learn how to do that. Neelay Patel's going to be using a silver silk, which is beautiful, uh, with a mix called Mon Monarch Marigold. Uh, Randy Brown, follow your arrow necklace. And then, oh, and then we have, I think we have a, oh yeah, happy hour with Sarah, which I can't wait for. Uh, happy hour around the campfire. So of course this is all virtual, but you know, and you get some coupons and things like that. Um, and then they sent, I mean, isn't this cool? A whole beetle on, you know, book with projects in it. I just think that is just fantastic. And I, I love beading books. And it's Beetle by Beetle on, so you know it's gonna have some really cool projects in it, which I'm pretty excited about. And then, if that weren't enough, this sucker is chock full. First of all, look how cute this bag is. Is that not the cutest with the hot pink? And I love the tent. I do have such good memories about camp. Anybody remember calling juice bug juice? Or was that, was that a Michigan thing? I, I grew up in Michigan. Uh, let me know. I'm curious. I have some people that watch from Australia. Um, what did you call juice at camp? Did you call it bug juice? I'm just curious. Or did you call it kangaroo juice? <laughs> oh, I would love to be in a campfire and see a koala bear. If y'all have ever done that, let me know. I, I'm curious. But let's get this open. I want to see what's in here. Oh, guys. Look at that. Oh, happy days. Now, I think this is the second year that uh, Jesse James Beats has done a camp. I didn't do it last year, and I regretted it. And they also did something around Christmas time, which was really cool. I think it was similar to the camp, but it might have been a holiday like class thing. But um, if you can do this someday, I recommend it. Um, I think it's a really cool idea. Oh, and we get to pick bunk mates too, which I think is neat. So look at this cute little pouch. Let's see what's in here. So I don't know like what, I kind of have a clue with the classes, what's going to go with what, but I don't really know for sure, but we'll just take a gander at everything. Ooh, that's gorgeous. Oh, 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 oh. So, oh, cute. Little tassel. 
Oh, that's fun. I got a little tray here. I, I got loaded up with trays before I started this video. I wanted to make sure I had plenty of places to put things. That bag is big. Look at that. Ugh. Those are, that's fun. That's gorgeous. Yay. I'm so excited. And then it looks like we've got some tags here. I've not ever used these before. Be interested to see what we do with those. And then some chain. Four feet of chain. Kind of a, what color is that? Hematite. Oh, and look, more of that silk. If you got the fairy mystery box. I love this stuff. That is fun to play with. Okay, what else we got? Artistic wire and 26 gauge. Let me see, I'm gonna put the chain down here. Okay, artistic wire. And, wow, a lot of wire, guys. Oh, good, the seven strand beetle on wire, I love that. Love it. We're gonna be making lots of stuff. Some wildfire in pink. How cute is that? I've never seen that in pink. That's gotta be maybe for the peyote, one of the peyote projects. Cool. Uh, Supple Max. Very cool. Some hemp cord. Wow, that's a lot of hemp cord. Then a nice pretty blue color. Now I don't know if everybody gets the same colors of things or not. I'm not sure on that, but. Oh, and this is fabulous. Uh, Beads of Courage. These are neat. Next time you go for a hike. Yeah, I. this is um, a charity that helps children and teens with serious illnesses. So they, they wanted to be involved in this box. And I remember Sarah saying on one of the Facebook messages that she was very excited that they were gonna be supplying some beads. And um, these kids get beads um, and you can buy beads and I think the money goes to help help them. And you send one bead to them and you keep one bead and you send a note to encourage the child coping with the serious illness. And so you see these children that have been struggling with these diseases with these long necklaces that you know people have sent loving, kind, encouraging letters. So I love this. This is like um, when a community can come together and help somebody. i going to get choked up now. <laughs> Uh, but, you know, when Sarah James says, all oh, heart, she means it. And this is the kind of thing that makes me very proud to be um, collaborating with them and being a part of the journey. So if you've never heard of Beads of Courage, take a look at that. Uh, you don't need to be involved in the camp to get involved with that. I'm going to put that front and center. That's very important. Very important love that so much all right let's see what else we got oh neat four millimeter check duos look at the sparkle on those oh look at that's pretty together oh i see some mixes oh here's some tiara cast components Oh, I love, I gotta take these out. I love Tierra Cast. I love it. I don't wanna lose anything though. That would not be good before camp. We don't wanna lose anything, but I have to take a closer look. 
So yeah, this looks like for some of our projects. Look at that toggle with the sun shape. Isn't that pretty? Some ear wires and some, looks like some cord ends and a hammered metal. Very nice. I'm very excited to work with all of this stuff. I just can't wait to see how it all comes together. Then we have a follow your arrow summer camp mix. Looks like there's stars in there, a toggle, feathers, a heart. I'm scared to lose all this, so I, I don't think I'm going to open it. Sorry, guys. But I will be posting a lot that week um, and doing YouTube videos and posting all over the place. So you won't miss out on anything um, that I'm doing that week. And I believe it's the first week of August. Actually, you might be sick of me by then. <laughs> Who knows? Um, look at those. Preciosa. Crystal pear. Beautiful. Summer camp, summer camp. Ooh, lots of wire. We are doing a wrapped cabochon, which I'm pretty excited about. Looks like they've got plenty of wire for that. I am excited to learn new techniques. I think um, that'll only help my design skills as I, as I go forward. Look at this silver silk. This is Neelay Patel's company. I love that color. Two feet. And you can do a variety of things. I've watched some of his videos. First of all, he's adorable. Second of all, this stuff is gorgeous. And I love the way it feels. It is such a soft, knitted, it's almost, feel, I mean, they call it silver silk and it does feel like silk. It's very, very soft and supple and you can do a lot with it. I'm really, really excited to work with this. That is exciting. What else we got? Oh, how cute is this color combination? Watermelon sugar high. I'm pretty sure we're gonna be using it with this pink. So I think I saw a peyote ring, ring around the peyote seed bead class. I bet that's the, for this, but I love this color combination. I was just eating watermelon the other day. It is so stinking hot here in Texas, my gosh. Um, you can't help but eat like cucumbers and watermelon all the time. Tomatoes, cucumbers, and watermelon. Seems to be all I'm eating lately. <laughs> hmm. Oh, look at these Toho beads. You see the luster on those? Looks like they're lined. 11 O's. 10 grams. That's a lot. Neat. Okay, we have a bunch of mixes here. Oh, wait, here's some strands. <gasps> oh, these are gorgeous. Oh, you all are gonna, you're gonna like this. This is eye candy. Eye candy. Check that out. Oh, okay, let's look at one at a time. I need six hands, guys. <laughs> Look at the colors. Oh, beautiful. I love these with the little opal beads in them. Aren't those beautiful? You see that? And the turquoise. And the apricot color. What a beautiful color combination. That's going to be stunning to play with. I almost said mess with, but that's not the right word. And look at this. Oh, 
That's a razzle dazzle raspberry happy. Oh, that makes me happy. Just look at the little stars. Isn't that cute? And uh, I love these. They look translucent, but yet they're milky. We're seeing a lot in the beads in these mixes, and I love it. it it's so interesting to look at. And then I love that center bead. Oh, that's what I mean about their, you know, we could just be done right there. Fun around the campfire. Okay, now there's some mixes here, which I can put in other containers, but I don't think I want to mess them up. I'm scared I'm going to lose some things. But we'll take a closer look. Oh, here's some ear wires. And some uh, guardians. Those are some nice findings. Look at this cabochon. That must be for the um, wire wrap cabochon. Jen Van Ben Schoten. I hope I have not massacred her name. Van Jen Van Ben Schoten. She's going to be teaching that class. I'm excited to learn how to do that. And that is stunning. You can really see that right through the paper even. And then uh, here's some little mixes. Double dip. So little mini mixes. And these I'm pretty sure for the class that we're doing, the double dip wire wrapping class, that's going to be the first class that we take. So that'll be the first one you hear about. Um, I'll do a little show and tell. I think, I don't know if I'm going to do a video every day, guys. Um, I might combine some. I mean, let me know in the comments. Do you want to see something every day? Do you want to see it all over the next weekend, what I did for the whole week? Do you want to see half and half? Um, let me know. I don't certainly want you to suffer through a three hour video, <laughs> but I do want to share what I've learned and also how much fun this is in case you are thinking about doing this. I think there's still some spaces left. I don't know how many, but maybe you can't do it this year. I couldn't do it last year, but you might, you know, think about it and save up for it for next year. because. I think it's worth it. I mean, look at all this product and you're getting taught by people who are really good at what they do. They're lovely people. They're fun. And um, I think it's going to be very cool. Uh, anyway, let me see. I may, well, I may open these. <laughs> I have some containers I can put them in. Let's, let's move this back. Um... But never fear, I'm going to be sharing as much as I can with you guys so you can really get an idea of, um, of what this camp is all about. So we have two really pretty mixes here. Uh, one's called Nature Lake. The other one's called Monarch. I think we'll start with Monarch. Um, and I'm fairly certain this is going to go with, yeah, this is with Neele Patel. And that's going to be Monarch Marigold Silver Silk. Well, we're going to make some earrings. So that's going to be neat. So this is the mix for the Monarch. It, oh, wow. So, so we're starting to think about fall a little bit. Aren't these gorgeous? Look at the colors. Oh, I think I see a Monarch butterfly in there. Okay. I'm excited. There's some little pieces. I need to be careful. Little pieces. Please don't fall. I was cleaning up my carpet today because I've been making jewelry like crazy and I, man, my carpet was so full of glitter. I'm surprised it didn't go become a magic carpet and go flying out into the stratosphere. Silly. I'm silly. 
Oh, wow. So aren't those cute? I love those. And it looks like we have several tassels, which I do love. I love tassels. I think, I think they just, I like texture, as I've said. Tassels add a lot of texture. Pretty color, isn't it? All right, and then of course this dream catcher. Make a nice pendant out of that. And then there's the monarchs. Come back here. There's a really pretty mix. Some bicones. Look at this um, kind of orangey yellow color. Ooh, and look at this kind of burgundy brown color. That was beautiful. You've got some hammered coin beads. Lots of pretty bead caps. Really pretty iridescent rondelles. Oh, aren't these an interesting shape? Look at that yellow bead with the... That's a cool shape. Lots of mixed metals. Those little squares are cool. With a little matte finish. Some little orange. Wow. That's so pretty. I just like looking at that. That's going to be a really fun project. I'm really excited to work with this. Very excited. So stay tuned for that. That's going to be amazing. And we've got Nature Lake. And already, I mean, the leaves, come on. I mean, their metals are so gorgeous. They always pick such pretty metals. And I do think of a lake just looking at this. But there is a lot in here. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. There's a lot. This thing is chock full, guys. I may have to use several trays here. Ooh. Look at those. Look at that long, buddy. Almost looks like a totem pole, doesn't it? <laughs> Look at the aqua. Oh, and oh my gosh. I love everything I see. Oh, look at that bead with that texture. <gasps> with that patina on it. Oh, I love that. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous ceramic bead with iridescence. Blues, browns, turquoise, wood, lava beads. Look at all the textures. And the color. Oh. The colors are stunning. Oh, look at these. Love those. Okay, here's a big leaf. Look at that. I can't get over this mix. And more is coming out. I mean, <laughs> we're not done yet. Oh, look at this bead. Oh my gosh, it's an owl. Oh, he is so cute. Look at this guy. Hello, Mr. Owl. Hoot, hoot. <laughs> ah. What is it about owls that that make us think of camping? Look at this bead. It's like ombre. That is so cool. 
I love that. Oh, this is really gorgeous. Oh, you get two owls, you guys. Get. Pardon the interruption, but I got my mother trying to upstage me with the creaking door slash loudness. And she's in the she's in the hallway cracking up. Y'all are missing it. It's quite funny. Have anything to say, Mom? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> she crashed my unboxing. Oh my goodness. The joys of working from home. <laughs> I tell you, when I'm on meetings, sometimes when I'm having meetings for my day job, we get our wires crossed and um, she will open the door while I'm in the middle of a meeting. Uh, and one time the dogs were acting really, they were acting up and she yelled at one of the dogs and of course my whole my whole department could hear her and they were all laughing but um she was embarrassed i think i just embarrassed her just now <laughs> oh that's two-sided that's cool but you know that's what happens when you film at home guys you get interrupted <laughs> that's okay i'm sure i did a lot of interrupting of her when over the years as a kid i know i did I was one of those kids who was like, yeah, we have to um, bake 27 million cookies for tomorrow. And I would tell her that at 10 o'clock at night. Yeah, she wasn't happy with me. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to say I don't do that anymore. Just to be, just because I want to, I want you to see that color with that color. Remember I was talking about uh, complementary colors? That is so cool. They're not in the same mixes, but you know, you can mix the mixes. I know this is for a project probably for um, summer camp, but I just want to show you that. Just a little food for thought. You know, in case you buy a mix that's orange and you get like a teal mix, pretty cool. That'd be really pretty for fall. I don't know about you, but I'm tired of the heat and I'm ready. So anyway, wow, you guys, I am so excited about, about camp. I loved camp when I was a kid and I'm well into my fifties now, but I love, I love camp. I love the Kumbaya. I love, you know, we'll get to meet new people and learn things and have some happy hours and then hopefully encourage a young person that's dealing with very tough things. I love this Beads of Courage. I'm so happy that they're part of this. And um, so let me know, you know, what you're excited to see come out of this. Uh, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine classes. A happy hour and a kumbaya and then I think we have other little assignments plus I think you make a piece of jewelry for your bunkmate at the end of all of this so it's gonna be pretty neat and I'm pretty excited but if you want daily videos let me know like I said it's the first week of August and that's pretty much gonna be my focus the whole week and so I will share it with you as much as I can so you can learn along with me if you want, or make the decision to become a camper next year over at Jesse James Beads, or just get inspired to make something for yourself. So thanks for joining me this evening. Um, I'm excited about this class, these classes and this camp, and uh, I hope you're excited. Take care of yourselves, take care of your families, stay safe. Uh, I will have some more finished jewelry updates coming the end of this week. So be looking for those. Thank you again for watching. I appreciate all the kind comments. 
and stick with me. We'll continue to learn stuff and have a blast. Take care.